three minutes. That's all the time you have to get out of your home in the event of a fire. Just 180 seconds to escape the smoke and the flames with your loved ones. And that's not a lot of time that has really stuck with us too after the Help Me Hank special report on fire safety. It goes so darn fast. Firefighters say 30 years ago, we had 17 minutes to get out. So what has changed? Nick Monticelli went to the state fire marshal to see firsthand why fires burn so much faster now. Fire in the hole. The reality is most of us will never experience a fire. I guarantee it's surprising to most people. But just in case there's a new message trying to save lives. The time you have to escape is what's changed. You have less time. That's the message from State Fire Marshal Kevin Selmeyer and the Livonia Fire Department. To prove it, they found a couple of old couches showing why the materials inside so are the problem. The we'll open up the back side is, you know, you've got some of this polyester, kind of this foam cotton. That foam is now normal in furniture and mattresses. It's what makes it comfortable, but also what makes it burn much faster and hotter. It's not a knock on furniture industry at all, but the reality is, is that because it has this much um, foam rubber, polyurethane, polyester, which is a derivative of oil, you're going to see a lot of thick black smoke. The fire also consumes oxygen, and Livonia Fire Captain Robert Jennison says that smoke is also fuel. The smoke is like taking diesel fuel and throwing it up in the air and atomizing it, and then that smoke is continuing to burn and get hotter, and we're seeing these hotter these fires get hotter so much faster. To further demonstrate exactly how fast that burns, here's the couch that's now pulled out of that burn container. The foam material that was here in the mattress, gone. The wood framing still exists, but that material, that just burns so much hotter and so much faster, that went away before the rest of the couch did. Fire the hole! For the second burn, we put a camera inside this shipping container. See how it's starting to drop right down? And this is the time that you're trying to leave. It takes just five minutes to fill the container with thick black smoke. And notice the door on the left was open most of that five minutes. If it was closed, it would have filled in two to three minutes. This double container is about the size of a small home. It's down in the living room. Well, what's going to be down this end? It's going to be bedrooms. And you can already see that the smoke is pushing all the way to the far end. Obviously, you're not going to throw away your furniture, but what you should take from this is that you now have an average of just two to three minutes to escape a fire safely, while also taking into consideration that most fires start in the living room or kitchen, so your normal exits could be blocked. Your best alternative is to gather your family, move into the, the best bedroom that maybe has a point where you can climb out onto something, a roof, a deck, or there's some folks that are actually purchasing the ladders. And just as important, close doors. Take a look at this video from Underwriters Laboratory, showing the difference between a room with a closed door and an open one during a fire. All messages that could save lives when minutes Open count. Right. If it makes a difference with one family, then we've done our job here, but hopefully it reaches a lot farther than that. In Livonia, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. And more advice the firefighters pass along is to have a safe meeting place outside of your home just in case of that fire and practice escaping. They even suggest setting up drills in the middle of the night when no one's expecting to give your family a better chance to get out safely. We should because, you know, we've seen those stories where the smoke detectors don't wake people up immediately. Either. Especially kids. They yeah. do not wake up yeah. to those. It's scary.